Our next step is to make some coveralls for the minion, and this part's very simple. Go ahead and select the minion's body, hit Control D, use your right arrow to slide the duplicate off. We're going to go ahead and get a box tool, and we're going to pull it all the way across. I'm going to close this menu up because it's in my way, and then I'm going to pull the box out this way. In fact, I'll take it back. It doesn't have to be quite that long. And what I want to do is increase the height of the box. And the exact dimensions don't matter because basically this is what you're going to do. Once you know that your minion's body is completely inside of the box tool, you're going to go ahead and raise it up. And what you want to do is leave behind about half of the minion's body. So when it looks like you have that positioned halfway on the minion's body, you can go ahead and group both parts. And when you group it, the upper half will disappear. I'm going to open up my shape menu. I'm going to change the color from yellow to blue. The last thing I have to do to make sure that these coveralls fit around the minion's body is I need to increase the size. So instead of 50 by 50, we're going to change it to 52. By 52 and then we're going to put the minion inside the coveralls and then we're going to align it according to length and width and you should get a perfect match all right now all parts are currently selected I'm just going to move this over uh, towards the center a little bit but notice that I have not grouped the parts do not Come up here and group them. Just leave them the way that they are, and you'll see why when we continue on to the next lesson.